archaeologists are, I think, missing some structures that are hiding in plain sight. For example, the Great Sphinx of Giza. The evidence that the Great Sphinx was only remodeled in dynastic times around two and a half thousand years ago, but that the original rock-hewn sculpture is much older than that, dating back to the Younger Dryas time, is very compelling. And that's not the only example. And what you find in, in every case is very precise knowledge of astronomy, alignments of the key structures at Gobekli Tepe to the rising of the star Sirius over a period of several hundred years, for example, changing alignments and then pillar 43 in enclosure D at Gobekli Tepe contains what I believe has rightly been interpreted as, a, as an astronomical diagram showing the dark rift in the Milky Way and the constellation of Sagittarius the nearby constellation of uh, Scorpius and doing so in such a fashion that it actually draws attention to the date of 12,800 years ago which is the date proposed uh, for the Younger Dryas impact. This is very intriguing and what's evident in that pillar is that the ancients were using a knowledge of the phenomenon called precession. And that phenomenon was not supposed to have been recognized until the time of the Greeks, about two or 300 BC, and yet there we have evidence for it in, in Gobekli Tepe. So I think that our story of the past is missing a lot of chapters.